Hello, in this tutorial I want, you, uh, I want to introduce you to the function overloading. The, I've already talked the function overloading in the string class, but let's see what is it. So, you can call a function with the same name but different parameters and, this and in this case different, para uh, different function will uh, uh, called. So, for example, we have a calculator, for example, that add function we did earlier. And uh, we could apply that to uh, int, double, long, and any data type. So, mm, think that uh, we made one function with double and called that with double. So, the, so if we call... 4.3 point the compiler will know that these are double variables so uh, it call the uh, double version of add function so double uh, add double a double b like that so it will call that but if there is another function with the same name but different parameters so in a in b like that and we call it with integers so add uh, 5 4 these are integers then the compiler know that these are integers so it will call the integer uh, version of it and in this case it will call the double version of it okay and simple that's the uh, function overloading you can make a lot of uh, overloaded function actually there is uh, no limit how many function do you uh, put here but usually uh, five should be enough all right you should uh, really uh, For example, in this case, you should really be careful because uh, the compiler will not know which one uh, should it uh, mm, call because there are implicit type conversation. I will make a video on that too. All right, we make a function that will list out an array array elements so it will be void because it has no return type it just list out and uh, listing name the name the function and give a few parameters it will be a int pointer uh, array and uh, an integer and this is how many elements there are so for int i equals 0, i less than n, i plus plus, so we did, so just similarly as we did earlier, and write out the array i, and make a space like that, and, uh, oh, we don't put new line right there, we put new line right here, and line, okay. Or delete this because we don't made that example we did made this example instead and make an integer a with 10 elements and for int i equals 0 i less than uh, 10 i plus plus and just uh, put elements in the array like i uh, multiplied by 2 just some element okay we made a char to so int c we use just four element in it because uh, i don't know the alphabet for so long so for char c equal a it is possible with for loops to use the chars instead of integers so and c 
less than a b c d uh, something like that d i think it will go a b c o no we need e okay the alphabet is very complicated and we will uh, increase the c so it first will be a and then b c and d and then the e come i think actually this is i e in hungarian okay so c mm -hmm. all right uh, we should rename it to h and this is and this is the h and h minus minus 97 this is uh, from the ascii table because the a a uh, character is it uh, has the 97 volume uh, decimal volume and make it equal to h like that a hey, let's see if it work it gives no segmentation error so it should work but list out it uh, actually now the overloading part comes in so let's make another function and this will be char array and we don't have to change anything else okay and listing uh, uh, a 10 so we give the address of the first element and we give there is 10 element and this thing we call it char so c and then we give four element all right then save it compile it and run it all right we should cast it but uh, we should cast it because we don't have uh, right uh, data type now as you can see it gives what we expected in the first case so when we call it with int it will call this function which waits for an integer so we could write out to be sure that Oh, in integer end line, and we copy it and rewrite it to char. Okay. Now, if we compile it, it should tell us which function does it call. As you can see, in the first case, it's called integer, and it here it called the char function and this is the base of the operating overload so uh, it will call when you pass int argument it will call when you pass char argument sometimes you have to be careful to to avoid the so avoid when the compiler don't know which function should it call because both of them has um, has to be casted or converted implicit time conversation implicit time cast to one type and the compiler can decide to compile uh, to cast it to one data type and call that function or cast to another data type and call that function so i will not show you example for that because uh, we don't really talked about implicit time conversation so time cap type casting but we will in the future and that then i should make uh, then i should clarify it okay and that's for now and have a great day